Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. My name is Pam Baumgartner. I'm going to be your host. The Ventura Rock Spot is a program that highlights bands and artists in and out of the 805, as well as the bands and artists who come to the 805 to play. We do have a website that has past episodes. It's also a place you can go to find out how to be a guest on the program. And the website is VenturaRockSpot.com. And roll fast before we get into our introduction this time around, we have, uh, I, I would like to do a shout out to Michelle Hoover, who is our producer extraordinaire. So everyone say hi to Michelle behind the hi, scenes. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. All right, welcome to the program now. We have Bone Megat, and I'm gonna help go ahead and have you guys raise your hand as I call out your name. We have Mike Klein on guitar and vocal. Right we have Lance McNilly on drums. We have Ray Madueno on bass guitar. And then we have Jay Rivera on guitar, and he is coming to us on a separate camera all together out of San Francisco. All right, you guys, thank you for being here, taking the time to speak to us today. Um, Mike, why don't you go ahead and tell me about the band? If no one's ever heard of the band Bone Make It before, tell me what your sound is. And um, yeah, just tell me, describe the sound of the band. Heavy, real heavy. Real heavy, real, it's uh, a combination of all sorts of things, you know. Lance has got his own view of how he does his thing. Ray's got his own view of how he plays his thing. Jay's got his own view. But it comes together, you know, with that real heavy groove. It's yeah. It's got a real brutal side to it, but it's not over. I would, I'm honestly, my opinion, it's not over the top like Cannibal Corpse or anything like that. But I do like Campbell Corpse and all that. It, it's if if you like, I think it gives a little bit of something for everybody. There you go. It, 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 <laughs> so who is your target audience then? I like it. Anybody that likes, because <laughs> we've had people from all age groups, from young to old, say they like this, and that's the greatest thing. When it's not just the young people that like this, we got people that would have never initially hear that type of music. They're like you guys sound really good. And that's the biggest right. compliment to me. Is that hey, range, the, the age group range is so vast. So why don't we go ahead? Um, do you have more than one album or is it just the one album right now? You got so much stuff. I mean, the, yeah, got the one one album, album. We got a bunch of singles. Yeah, we got a bunch of singles. Actually, we're- Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, so we're right gonna go now. ahead and show everyone what you're about. We're gonna roll the first video. And the first one is called Needles. Oh, okay. Screaming, you're the loser. 
right, I'm going to do a round table real quick. We're going to start with Jay up in San Francisco. Jay, why don't you go ahead and tell us where you're from, uh, where you live now, where's home, and what were your musical influences? Oh, wow. I uh, started out in Sunland, Tahunga. Woohoo. And uh, my musical influences, I have to say, if I had to think back to seventh grade where this all started, was Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, all, all the originals. And it just got darker and deeper, and you know what I mean? And just it Slayer and then Venom and then Exodus. And then somewhere in between, it became just a mix of all the things that I like in my life. You know what I mean? I'm not the baby eating metal kind of, you know what I mean? But I, I, I really do like the originals a lot. I, I do, for sure. Fair enough. Okay, Ray, why don't you go ahead and tell us where you came from originally, where's home now, and what are your influences? I'm originally to... from El Rio, California, right. and I still reside here. I'm still here in El Rio. Um, my musical influences um, originally came from like rap, funk, hip hop. My mom was really like into music, so we always had like funk playing um, all the time. Um, but as I got older, um, I dropped acid <laughs> and I started listening to Cannibal Corpse and Deicide and that blew my mind. That was like the first like introduction to metal. The worst that way. that that, <laughs> that I, and it, and I I never heard nothing like it. It was like so mind blowing. I was like, wow, I need more of this. I need more of this. So I went to warehouse music and I was just like started getting what's the best death metal band you could give me. And I think the I try to merge like if you listen to it, it's not like a traditional bass play. I just feel wherever the bass needs to be, that's where I'm going to put it. It's, 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 that's where I think we get the groove and the hardcore metal. Sometimes it, it mixes well together. Nice. All right, Lance, where are you from? Um, <clears throat> I was born in San Angelo, Texas. You could just say I'm from Texas. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, I moved out to California in 98 and um, wanted to learn how to play guitar right away and drums, anything I can get my hands on. And uh, Who were you started, listening to? Who were your influences? Uh, well, I listened to country music a whole lot my whole life. And then once I became like a, a teenager, you know, like 12, 13 or so, uh, I finally heard like ACDC and Metallica and I was like, what? What is this? <laughs> And I was like, sweet. And a radio station out there in um, Irving, Dallas, had a, from 9 o'clock to 9.30 p.m. every weeknight, mandatory Metallica. It was back-to-back -back Metallica songs, 30 minutes straight, no commercials. And so I was supposed to be asleep in bed, you know, but I had my headphones on, just like rocking out. <laughs> and uh, I just knew right that's what I wanted to get into, you know. All so, right. Here hey, I am. Mike, what about you? Where are you from originally? <laughs> originally... Like with Jay, fun to hunger. And I moved out to Santa Paula, uh, God, in the 90s. And uh, musically, uh, I started probably playing. Uh, I was still racing. I probably like I was like 15 or so, whatever. I heard uh, Randy Rhodes. I was like, that, that's what I love. It, it blew me away. So I was like, I got to learn how to play what he's playing. So then I got heard that it wasn't too much. I, I would say in a couple months, months time, I was playing in bands. And then someone said, hey, this is a Slayer Show No Mercy album. I was like, who? No. I mean, oh God, I, maybe I was even younger. Maybe I was like 14 or <laughs> something like that. Many and, moons ago. Yeah. And I'm uh, and I got it, and everyone's like, I hate this album. And I got it, and I put it on. I was like, well, this is, this is for me. It changed it's, everything, huh? Yeah, that was like the, that had, that was way back. And then from that, I went, you know, through all the brutal, uh, you know, all, all sorts of stuff. Then I played in so many different bands, like punk, hardcore, punk bands at the time. Not, not, not a lot of the crap that's now, poppy, all this, you know, this. You know, like when Bad Religion was, Bad Religion, Conflict, all the broken bones. And then 
I was heavily influenced by tons of metal too. It's it's just never left me. It's you know, you know I, I love blues stuff, Super Ray Vaughan stuff like that. But what comes out of me that I enjoy the best is yeah, is metal. Got it. Unfortunately, I I've, I've tortured tons of people with what what I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll to the next video. We're gonna do Straw Man. That was our okay. first video. That's our first video. I'd love to see more beer, I'm telling you right now. Look at That's that. what we want to see. Can you play? And he's an angel. Look at his halo. <laughs> <laughs> His mom would be proud. A big sound. A big sound. Big So Lance, where has the band played? Uh, you know, I, I hear that you played Las Vegas before. Yeah. House Ventura Blues. Theater, name some places you guys have played. House of Blues. Oh, Everywhere. Which one? Everywhere. Ventura, San Diego, 
San Diego, Ventura, all, all over Ventura. Yeah. Apple Valley, Santa Barbara, LA, uh, Orange <laughs> County. Uh, so you get around a lot. You're building up that audience, right? We we always try to get out as far, as much as we can, you know, a little bit was whatever we can get, get away with. with. Yeah. Whoever will take us. <laughs> Kim, yeah, we're going to be rolling a video. I want you guys to tell me about it because it looked like a lot of work went into it. It's um, Shovel Fist. So tell me about the, the brainchild behind that. You know, who came up with the concept? Roll it out. How did that all come about? The, the concept was something that wasn't done. <laughs> we, we, gave them, we gave them an idea and they just threw that away and they said, we're rolling with this. So the... <laughs> Our, our guy in Brazil, that's what, you know, he got it all to him and said, there were some things. We gave him like pinpoints points of what we wanted. And so he threw that into it. But he kind of came up with it just. Yeah. Like, like maybe there was a bar down in hell and the devil was going down there to party and stuff. and got if we're, fight. Yeah, we're playing at the bar. That was what we had. And though he, he did all the other stuff. I mean, it, it's a glimpse of what it's going to look like when we die. <laughs> it, it's going to be waking up. Playing and, yeah, <laughs> waking up and you have to go to work, but at night you get to play in a band in a bar and then all. So nothing yeah. changed. Yeah. I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> I think that's what we're Hey, we're going to roll. It's Shovel Fist.
right. I know you guys, the pandemic's put a damper on things, but you're still recording. You're still doing songs. You're still creating, at least. You haven't let it put a stop on it altogether. But what are your plans now? What is what is the vision for 2021? Well, we're already started on something brand new, and we're already drum tracks done. Lance did a killer job on the tracks. And my, as Mike said, he's going down to do his part. And uh, the new project's going to be fun, just like it always was it is with us. You'll see. It's going to be something something for everyone to trip on, for sure. It'll be. <laughs> what is the normal process when you guys record together? The way the way I do it is, I mean, when I, like, when I go down there, I use uh, our click track, our scratch track, and I do the vocals first. So, and then right after I do the vocals, then I start laying down guitar tracks. And then whatever in between. And then I'm done. Then everyone else goes, Ray goes, Jay goes, and they lays down more guitar tracks and more bass tracks or whatever else is needed. We used to try to do it all at one time, but it was exhausting. Too yeah. exhausting to try to do it, everything all at once. It used to be a 16-hour day, and we turned it into an hour, or, you know, or so <laughs> for me, or for you know what I mean. Just go in and do it separately is kind of nice. But we're usually there for each other just to chill or hang out. Oh, wow. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we, we, we just, you know, support each other and go in there and everyone does their tracks all at once. And we, we've gotten better at this over time. And we can go in there and just do our job and do it pretty quick anymore. And it, it's, it's a lot of fun. We don't have to be standing in front of blaring amps. They're in a separate room. And we can do it in the comfort of a pretty – Pretty chill and pretty pro place for sure at Fuel Studio at Fuel Music Studios for sure. Yeah, we have a good guy. Yeah. Do you, do you guys use the same producer all the time, or do you have somebody new for every song? No. no. Yeah, Different. Yeah, yeah. Same, no. same producer, but sometimes the video shoots are different people. And it just depends on what, what we're doing. And there's better each one is good at what they do. And and that's the only thing that really changes. But we do have the same producer, and he's he's been he's, he's been with us since the beginning. Yeah, Adasi. Okay. <laughs> All right, Don't let's roll that. the last video. We have Dead Inside.
Well, that's about all the time we have for this episode. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank I want you. to thank awesome. Mike Klein, Lance McNelly, Ray Madrueno, and Jay Rivera, collectively Thanks. known as Bone Maggot. And if you'd like more information about the band, just go to their website. It's bonemaggot.com. Well, on behalf of Mel Hoover, GWC Productions, our Ventura TV and VenturaRocks.com. I'm Pam Baumgartner. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Pam. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle.